four weeks ago, I, I gave you guys this warning. I, I, I gave you guys plenty of time to prepare for what happened earlier this morning when Bitmain announced the launch of their KS3, their new Caspa miner. I've been throwing the red flags and throwing the alarm, sounding the alarm, if you will, for the last four weeks for a lot of people that went and they FOMO'd into some of these FPGA miners and they FOMO'd into this Ice River ASIC because, well, at that point, it looked really good. I said four weeks ago that Bitmain was more than likely, I was very confident Bitmain would come out with a Caspa miner. Now, I don't have any insider or connection to the, the CEO of Bitmain, but I know how manufacturers work. This is the same conversation Son of a Tech and I had on his channel in an interview, which, by the way, you should go check out, of how manufacturers play their games. And if you can play alongside of them, you just simply won't get you won't win because they'll still take your money if you buy the product. But at least you won't lose as bad potentially financially when it comes to Buying of FPGA or buying one of these KS1s or KS2s potentially for $30,000, that is now uh, the the KD Max to the KA3, if you will. So we've got a lot to cover in today's video, some things that you should be aware of. We don't know the exact price of the KS3. That's still really the big question. But we're going to talk about the overall impact of the network. What should you be expecting is, is and is now the time to sell your Caspa? So with that said, if you're new here, my name is Alex. We talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income, crypto mining, just a bunch of stuff. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like. But without further ado, let's from the video. So this was a video I posted about, what is it, April 9th? about uh about five weeks ago or so this was talking about the the k10 when it came out and kind of covering uh and, and looking at some of the asics that were or quote unquote asic if you will it's not wasn't really a true asic if you will by the most natural sense but talking about the the k10 that came out and in in my overall concern about some of these fpga miners this is exactly what i said back in that video and it's exactly what has happened today this k10 and i can share that with you guys once i get more information on it but the concern that i have with not only the m2 but the e300 and also with the super scalar is bitmain we know that bitmain came in and you look at the market caps of some of these cryptos nervous 172 million sia at 235 million handshake at 18 million you combine all three of these market caps together and you don't even come close to the market cap of Caspa. Now, I say this because recently, over the last 6 to 12 months, Bitmain has released extremely efficient, extremely profitable, and extremely powerful ASICs designed to mine each one of these cryptocurrencies, the K7, the HS3, and uh, the, I think they, not specifically SIA, but they launched one for Handshake and one launched one for Nervos, and then obviously the one for Kadena. So I think what we're going to possibly see, this is a potential in the near future, with the overall recognition CASPA has gained, the overall eyes on the project is in the near future to have a big manufacturer to the likes of Goldshell, iBlink, or Bitmain come out with a CASPA ASIC. So there you have it, right? I, I talked about this literally five weeks ago. That was my concern, especially with some of the price points that you saw with some of those FPJ miners. Now, here's the thing, right? This is the, the current situation for the likes of the KS3. When you look at uh, on Bitmain, it's one of the first things on the website. It's heavily promoted. Um, it's ev obviously, it's probably gonna sell out within the first couple of seconds. And what's going to happen is, so you guys are aware of how the process works because I don't want you burned by the process. I want you to take full advantage of what will happen with this process. And this is exactly what happens with the KA3 when it launched. This is what happened with the L7 when it originally launched. And this is what happened with the K7. All the new ASICs that come out by Bitmain, what they do first is what they call a pre-mine. What they're going to do with all of these KS3s is they're going to mine the crap out of these ASICs. This is their standard practice, yes, um, shipping date, as you can see, August of 2023. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, Alex, why are they selling this um, 
end of May to ship out in August because for the next two to three months, as is standard practice by Bitmain, they will self-mine. They will pre-mine. That is their term. Having talked to the one of the part owners of Bitmain and one of the individuals who's very good friends with their founders, they will be mining with these for the next two to three months. What that means is the overall amount of CASPA they will be making is going to be an absolute ridiculous amount. Additionally, when you look at this KS3, if you go really quickly over to miner stat and you start to look at the overall hash rate that this this just is it's going to be absolutely insane you're talking about three thousand dollars per day for this specific device um you throw in the calculation as 29.85 dollars usd in profit at a 10 cent electric rate you're looking at on an average of every 30 days, they're going to be making about $84,000. They're going to be doing that. This is per machine. This is per machine for the next two and a half to three months. My suspicion is by the time that you get your device, August of 2023, it will be what's called refurbished. Um, this is So when you power it up, you're not going to see zero hardware errors. You're going to see hundreds of hardware errors. So what happens is they pre-mine. They ship it out to you because you're going to pay a discounted price. No one really knows what the price is, but my speculation is it's probably going to be around the thirty to forty thousand dollar mark. The reason I say that is because the coupon that you can apply for if you win this, I guess the price and win a surprise ten thousand dollar coupon. Um, the ten thousand dollar coupon, the purchase guidelines for that is that you can't apply a coupon to more than 30% of the actual price. So if you go back over here, you click on this and you go to guess the price, um, it will show you that a user will guess the price will receive a $10,000 Antminer coupon. Coupons are applicable to all models on sale and can deduct up to 30% of the total order amount. So um, you can go through here. I'll provide a link to this down below if you want to guess the price. Um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna do 27999. We'll see if that happens or not. Um, and I guess I have to authenticate my account. But uh, either way, I if you have your account authenticated, I would highly suggest you go and guess because you could get a really good discount potentially on something like this. But my guess is it's probably gonna be in excess of twenty thousand. I'm pretty confident it's going to be around thirty thousand dollars. So uh, a guess in the park, um, if you if you consider the opportunity there. Um, so here's the problem, right? This is the, the the problem right now. Is the network hash rate currently sits at nine hundred ninety six terahash. This is current. That means if Bitmain only produces a hundred of these devices, if they only produce one hundred of these devices, the network hash rate will double. If they produce two hundred. Of these devices the network hash rate will be three times we're going to see what exactly happened with the ka3 and to all of the gold shell cadena miners and that's exactly what's going to happen to everyone who's fpga or gpu mining right now on caspa is you're pretty much going to be completely driven out of the profitability aspect of caspa if caspa was to remain at the same price now the problem that i think caspa currently has is the fact that the overall adoption has not yet reached the state of uh, the, the ability to mitigate what is going to be an immense amount of sell pressure on the token. Um, if you consider where um, you look at the, the market cap of Caspa and you look at some of the, the, the current specs of where Caspa is today, I don't think Caspa is going to be able to withstand all of the sheer volume that's possibly going to hit it, especially if Bitmain is to buy and dump. Uh, they're going to run all these ASICs and they're simply going to dump $180,000 or 180,000 CASPA every single day that they mine. That is, you're, you're looking at being able to mine nearly 4 million CASPA every single month. So you multiply that out by just 100 machines, you're, you're talking about 400 million CASPA every single month that bitmain will be mining if they produce 100 right this is, this is just if they do 100. so this is the the ongoing concern this is probably why you see caspa down uh, a little bit today i suspect 
that a lot of the the returns that were enjoyed by this i fully suspect caspa going under one cent and that has i mean you're looking at all all right now it's up over ten thousand percent so it has room to go back down and it has a fully diluted market cap right now at uh, or market cap of just shy of 400 million right so it's substantially larger and it can take a heavier beating if you will compared to other uh cryptos the concern that i have is there's going to be people uh and this is some conversation i've had with other youtubers is now the time to sell your caspa um or is this just going to be a growing pain of a project that is now getting support from bitmain with asics uh, when bitmain gets into something it's not willy-nilly the same thing that it was a very positive sign in the the cadena developers really had a positive outlook to bitmain producing uh asics for cadena and i think possibly we'll have that same similar long-term outlook for caspa even though for gpu miners this is a, a a terrible day this is uh armageddon if you will for gpu miners that have found success in caspa so in the end um I think everyone should be aware of the the fact of of what this is, right? This is absolutely insane. Um, at 8.3 terahash, 31.88 watts, the efficiency of this is 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 ridiculous from an efficiency standpoint. If you look at uh, the other competitors, as as you look at the the hash rate, you're looking at the efficiency that that you can get from Bitmain is uh, eons above. I mean, you're talking about the ks1 if you go over to ice river um and you go and you check out the specs on their ks0 ks1 their ks2 you can see that it's not going to even really come close to the likes of what bitmain has um and i i really until we know the price point we don't really know what you know for the best bang for your buck if you will when it comes to these asics um, you can see two terahash at 1200 watts. So you're getting four times over four times the terahash. Um, and if you multiply that out the same, you'd at, be at 4,800 watts. So the efficiency is substantially higher. That said, Ice River, the, comparatively speaking, uh, we may see a drop in price on the Ice Rivers. Who knows, right? There, there may be some positive outcomes to this whole scenario. But I think with what's going to happen is overall, the the impact to the network hash rate is going to be very similar to what happened to Cadena. You look at where Cadena is today, it's struggling to get back to where it was before. Um, and I think it's just part of growing pains. And it's going to be difficult for a period of time before things get better again. I think that's going to happen with the 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 the, the likes of Caspa. Realize most people are not going to be receiving these. I, I doubt it would happen in August, <laughs> knowing that they more than likely everyone will get them in September uh, or possibly even October if you're lucky. So just be mindful of that. Secondly, if you want to not get a you you have two options, right? You either one, you get it at the spot price. And um, if you by chance are fast enough, mo most likely all of them will sell out to the vendors and then the distributors and then they all distribute across all, all your different platforms, BT miners, crypto miner bros, ASIC miner or um, all, all your different uh, places you can go and buy your ASICs. All of those will most likely be refurbished. Uh, they're going to have hardware errors, or you can wait until batch two or batch three, which most likely are going to have the ones that are truly brand new with zero uh, hardware errors. So just something to be cognizant of, just kind of my two cents. Uh, I didn't expect it to be within a, a month of me putting out that video. It happened much sooner than I expected, but I'm not surprised, and I don't think anyone should be when it comes to Bitmain getting involved with this, um, from a business perspective, it's a it's a it's a smart move on Bitmain side. Um, but in the end, it does truly does it, it hurts GPU miners, um, and it just takes another crypto out of the, that potential portfolio um, for those who have a GPU farm. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What is your opinion on the KS3? Are you excited for it? What is what, what do you think the price is going to be? Do you think it's going to be uh, more than twenty or thirty thousand dollars? Love to hear your thoughts. Love to hear your opinions. Comment that down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash up the like. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.